Stand by. This is Michael Torpy's right. Paid Off. Let's get it going here, folks! It's your standard game show. Three contestants, three rounds of trivia, and a lot of prize money. Except the real goal here isn't just to win cash. It's to help fight America's student debt crisis. Hey, I'm Michael Torpy. Welcome to Paid Off, the game show dedicated to helping you pay off your student loans. One of these three contestants is 30 minutes away from a chance to pay off their student debt. As of this year, 43 million Americans owe a total of $1.4 trillion in federal student loans. And most college grads won't be able to pay off their student debt for a decade or more. So this is our set, man. It's phenomenal. These Atlanta crowds have been killer. I like the little vault back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like you're really just about to go back and you get some gold in. bars yeah. and just... <laughs> just right out of there. This whole thing started when Michael Torpy helped his wife pay off her student loans with money he made from his Hanes commercials. We're like twins. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. No, we're not. Yeah. I booked a national campaign for Hanes, and we took that money, and we looked at her debt, and she was paying 6 7% on these loans, and we said, let's just wipe it out. It'll, we'll have this fresh start moving forward. Mm -hmm. And we write these checks out, we put them in the envelopes, and my wife just starts crying. And I felt very ashamed that I didn't really understand what she'd been dealing with, uh, how it affects every impact in your life, mm -hmm. what it is to live with debt on your shoulders. There's something that's really dystopian about this entire prospect of a show where you get your student debt paid off. Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. Is this where we have come to as Americans? It is. It's the state of higher education, and it's the state of student debt right now. Comedy makes hard subjects more approachable. Hey, welcome back to Paid Off, the game show that helps pay off your student debt. We do more for the student debt crisis in half an hour than Congress does in... than Congress does. <laughs> And ideally, people can come in through the front door of comedy, and then we can hit them at the end of the show with our more serious statement and say, look, we all had some fun today, but these people are still in a tough spot. And if you were able to connect with their story through this show, help them out. How? Well, right now, I'm asking for people to specifically call their representatives, look for people who are supporting debt-free college and debt relief. I think we owe it to people to own up to that. And that's why I think debt forgiveness isn't, it's not a handout, it's, it's a, a responsible thing. RJ. Reincarnation? Reincarnation's correct for $200. The motivation behind Paid Off might be serious, but the show itself is pretty corny. Maybe that's the point. Contestants, I'm sorry, this is my neighbor, Mr. Old Man. He thinks it's un-American to criticize the country. You're damn right I do. This is the USA, not the US ain't. Nobody checks up on the winners to see if they actually spend their money on the student loans. But the contestants seem pretty serious about getting out of debt. I think a lot of people would be really embarrassed to be on a show like this. That's the problem, though. People are afraid to talk about how much debt they're in. And you're not. I'm not. I know how much debt I'm in. I did it to myself so that I could have a job and a career. And I'm thankful, but now I gotta get out somehow. Still anyone's game as we go into our last category. Spuds. Suds or studs? <laughs> Here we go. Stout. RJ. Suds. Suds. Beckham. So what made you think that getting on a show about debt is a good idea? My debt was, was a decision I made to make an investment in myself, right? But what I didn't realize was a couple years later, I, the, the consequence was I had to basically push my entire life back 10 years. For each correct answer, we pay you a percentage of your debt. You get eight correct, we pay you the whole amount. Okay. Can I get some dramatic game show lighting, please? Ooh. There it is. Yeah, it's real. Mm -hmm. From the Latin word for best, what kind of person believes that outcomes will be positive or desirable? Optimistic. Optimistic. According to his bio, Nintendo's Mario of Super Mario Brothers has what blue collar occupation? Plumber. What color jersey is worn by the winners of each stage of the Tour de France? Yellow. What technology company has the stock market symbol AAPL? Apple. Buddy, that is it! That is it! Oh, buddy! Eight! $91,996 for RJ! 
What's the end game for this? The end game would be that we can forgive debt and come up with debt-free college plans. Okay, so if that happens, your show no longer exists. Oh, done. Donezo, man. You're good with that? 100%. Yeah.